welcome everybody and the Iron Pony and welcome to episode number three we're gonna watch today and this is surf and or turf I have no idea what that means squeaky squeaky uh, so yeah a surf and or turf no no idea um, what that means but we're gonna find out when we watch this madness and I'm gonna get it this time <laughs> in three, two, one, and go. Princess Twilight! Hey, that's a CMC episode! <laughs> what? That's what happens when you're summoned by the map. Some pony Wait, needs what? our help? We're being called by the map? Did I mention we're growing? <laughs> <laughs> Where do they know the map from? So, where exactly in Equestria are we needed? Actually, where you're going isn't even in Equestria. Wow, that's almost off the table. <laughs> but what's way out there? Mount Eris, the home Whoa, of the hippogriffs. hippogriffs. And that's where you're headed. Wow. Oh. Nice. Okay, interesting. Apparently everyone can now get summoned by the map. In I, I didn't even know the CMC knew about the map. Um, I, I thought that was just the thing between... The main seven and it's spike, but okay. Apparently not. Apparently not. Uh, Mount Eris. Okay. I'm very excited to see how they're gonna make it look uh, in show style. We already know how it looks like in the movie, but in show style, we gotta see. Oh, amethyst star and. You really uh, don't need dinky. to come with us, Twilight. We can take care of this mission just fine on our own. Mm-hmm. Yeah! Scootaloo! Oh, man. Oh, no, Scootaloo down. <laughs> I know that. But I'm not so sure the ponies who care about you want you going off so far on your own. Besides, there's some school business I need to take care of on Mount Eris. This permission slip is for Silverstream. It's very important that her mother and father sign it, or else no field trips. Sounds like some pony just wants a vacation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, yeah. I have been wanting to visit Mount Eris ever since the hippo. could have just back, given uh, her the form purely in school. research. Silverstream's brother is going to meet us there and oh. take us to their houses. Silverstream's wow, brother. They have more than one house? I guess so. The social structure of the hippogriffs and sea ponies is a bit of a mystery. All aboard! Last stop, the new Mount Eris station. Oh, yeah, well, I was about to say, they already <laughs> built a train track to Mount Eris. That was fast. Here comes the choo choo train. I don't know if I'd like being a hippogriff. Part bird, part pony. I'm happy with just my pony parts, thanks. I think hippogriffs are pretty neat. I learned all about them from Applejack. The hippogriffs all once lived happily on Mount Eris. But when the Storm King invaded, yeah, they used a magic references. pearl to turn into sea ponies and escape to the underwater safety of Sequestria. Then, Sequestria. in the Battle of Canterlot, when Applejack defeated the Storm King... Wait, what? She told you she defeated him <laughs> by herself? <laughs> well, maybe she didn't say that exactly. Well, that's how it happens. <laughs> <better story>. uh, <laughs> Applejack did it all by herself. No help. Uh, how's it gonna look like? Nice. Very nice. Very nice. I like. I like. Uh, so what kind of cutie why mark related friendship problems do you think need we're traits? supposed to solve? I don't know, but hippogriffs don't have cutie Whatever. marks, so it might not have anything to do with that at all. No cutie mark problem? <laughs> huh. They're all blank fangs. So it must be a kind Haven't of heard a term in a long time. Solve. No need for that. Go but how do we know exactly who we're supposed to help? <clears throat> Attention! Anyone got a problem? Here have a problem? <laughs> you got a problem? Come at me, bro. <laughs> yeah. eh, that's all I got. <laughs> maybe if the map could be Perfect a little plan. more specific Scootaloo. about our mission, like maybe 
An address? The map doesn't really work like that, but I'm sure you and whoever needs help will find each other. Boink, boink, boink. Excuse me, Miss Sparkle? Over here. Sorry I'm late. Hey. I'm Silverstream's brother, Terramar. A hippogriff can have a sea pony for a brother? How does that work exactly? Shh. It's rude to ask a question like that. <laughs> oh my god, I'm a balloon. You can't just ask Whoa. by someone who's a sea pony. <laughs> uh, perfect meme. <laughs> it is kind of strange. See, after That's the Storm nice. King was defeated, the sea ponies didn't have to hide anymore. So some of them changed back to hippogriffs and went home to Mount Eris. But others got used to living under the water and stayed in Sequestria. And me? Well, I kind of go back and forth with this. It's a tiny piece of the magic pearl. It was split up among our kingdoms. They're pretty cool. Oh. They can just change well, whenever they feel like. See the Hippogriff Village, you know, to get this form signed and research. So, yay! Hey, Terramar, does any Griff you know up there have a problem they need help with? <laughs> On Mount Eris? No, every Griff is pretty happy up there. Every Griff? It's a great Oh God! <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we have keep doing that? Whoa, every this looks every creature, amazing. every Last time I was here, it was a ghost town. Yeah, God. thought it was important to return our Why can't they to just say everyone? <laughs> uh, that's gonna be very cringy for a very long time, or at least for another one and a half seasons. <laughs> oh God! Every and now. I officially open the Glad to Be a Hippogriff Festival! Glad to be a Hippogriff Festival. Okay. Chasing! Gotcha. Not really. We do this every weekend. Hippogriffs really like being hippogriffs. <laughs> Why don't we have glad to be a human day? <laughs> There's my pony. They have <laughs> glad to my be dad. a pony day. Haven't seen you it's in days, to be son. A pony. Wish you'd come around more often. Oh, Dad, these are Silverstream's friends from Equestria. They came up to... <gasps> Princess Twilight Sparkle! <laughs> <laughs> Yay, hippogriff noises. Attention, every griff. Princess Twilight mm. Sparkle is here. <laughs> nah. She's Silver Streams teacher. <gasps> here to take in the marvel that is Mount Eris, your highness? Absolutely. And to have you sign a form for Silver Stream. Glad to. But first, let's show the princess some real Mount Eris hospitality. To the refreshment tent for a stein of salmon juice. Oh, no beer? Eh, research. See you later. Yay. And good luck. I know you'll find your mission. Juice research. Well, your dad's certainly <laughs> outgoing, isn't he? He's a great guy. All my relatives are nice. That's kind of the problem. Wait, stop. What's that wonderful sound? Those are the harmonizing heights. Legend says that. <laughs> Spinning off. <laughs> Sounds nice. Problem. Did you say mm. problem? You oh. have a problem? <laughs> yes! Yeah. <laughs> Apparently we found our problem. <laughs> we discovered our mission! Alright! We did it! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you were talking about your problem. Right. 
Like I said, Mount Eris is one great place to live. That's why Silverstream and my dad and some of my cousins came back here. But Sequestria is another great place to live. That's where my mom is. Oh, I, I didn't know that. So no matter where I am, I feel like I'm letting someone down. No wonder you're having such a hard time deciding. And I have to choose soon. Every other griff my age already knows where they belong. I'm still Does not sure. Oh. When in doubt, but, chart it Does out. he have to choose, though? I mean... Now, Why? we put down everything great about each place do and they, everything not Do the sea ponies and the griffins and uh, uh, hippogriffs don't like each other for or something? Well, it's obvious, that would make sense Mount if, is the best if they of don't. All possible worlds. Pro, it's beautiful. Con, too far from Equestria. I think that pretty much sums it up. But <laughs> you haven't been to Sequestria yet. How can you even compare them? Terramar's oh, are we gonna go there? there? It'd be more fair if we visit both places before we decide. Hey, everybody! Whoa. This festival is fantastic! Look what I won at the ring toss booth! Uh, <laughs> the face! Yeah, I want this trophy! Yeah, already research. signed the form. Now I just need your mom's signature. Is she around? Um, she's a sea pony in Sequestria. That's what Silverstream meant by houses. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you'd like to meet my mom, we're just heading down there now. And how exactly are we going to visit underwater? Ah, oh, they're going to turn into sea ponies. Are they going to turn into sea ponies? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> This is probably the closest she will ever come to flying. flying! flying! Yes! Uh, oh, that's actually kind Where's of sad, mom, but <laughs> at least it's close. It's this way. Oh, this is awesome. it's a, oh she's so happy. <laughs> ah, looks pretty nice. Welcome home, baby. No excuses. This time you're staying for dinner. <laughs> Scootaloo, Sweetie Belle, Apple Bloom. This is my mom, Ocean Flow. And this is <gasps> Princess Twilight. How Sparkle. convenient. What How? An honor. Why would the hippogriff you know, be called just and are named you. Ocean Flow? Well, she is one Was of our most hardworking pony? students. In fact, I brought this for so that you so that you she was my born children are so smart. Would you like to see their baby pictures? Mom! <laughs> that was adorable! I'd love to! Oh. And you know, yeah. to find Awkward out about mom. aquatic pony early development and... Uh, I hope they have they waterproof have ink! Research. So, she, so, so she can sign oh, the Oh, well form. maybe your friends would like a snack while we're gone? Some kelp chips? Fish oil tea? <laughs> no thanks, Mom. I'm gonna go show them around. Reminds me of the kelp cereal from SpongeBob. <laughs> Look out! <laughs> ah. Not much sunlight down here, is there? <laughs> Under the sea. Under the sea. No rats to run in and no hooves to run on it with. And excuse me, but how do you keep from getting all pruney? <sighs> <laughs> okay, I've seen everything I need to. So, uh, why don't we find Twilight Sparkle, finish the chart, and uh, head back up the mountain? I have some serious field twirling to do. Where's she going? I want to stay and swim some more. Ah. <sighs> That part is dead. I need to make a new one. Twilight, you're back. And just in time for the screeching competition. Why not? Could be another trophy in my future. Be back soon. <laughs> screeching competition? <laughs> I want to see that. All right. Let's Twilight just... Sequestria <laughs> side. Uh-huh. Swimming is like flying, multicolor fish, <laughs> and... Did I mention the flying thing? You 
forgot the cons. Dark, wet, sea monsters. I don't remember any sea monsters. Alpha Bloom, looks like it's up to you. Me? Well, both places have a lot of good things about them. I can understand why it's hard for you to decide. Your heart is in two places you can only live Sorry. in. You're torn between the hilltops and the tide. Thank goodness that the cutie mark crusaders have begun to give you hope and help you to decide. These hills they call to you, they say harmonizing heights. This is your home, simple and serene. The sun dappled leaves are a mountain terrace. You can see 23 different shades of green to dare to compare anywhere to there is unfair and just plain wrong. Colt or mare, mm -hmm. or you wear feathers, fins, or hair. This is where you belong. Well, on the other hoof, I can think of a place that's way more exciting and cool, not to mention more you. Come on, you know exactly where I mean. Sequestria is the most. I haven't heard Scooter sing in a while. Doesn't have too many solos singing. Oh. It really does, I'm impressed. Don't overdo it. <laughs> Terramar, where are you going? Uh, if you all can't even agree amongst yourselves, how am I supposed to make up my mind? It's hopeless. Man, don't take this too seriously, hmm. man. Sweetie Belle said to tell you it's your fault that Terramar ran off. Well, you tell Sweetie Belle that if it weren't for her, our mission would have been over by now. And a success. <sighs> Scootaloo says this whole thing is your fault. Well, tell her that I'm not the one who dashed all of Terramar's hopes and made him give up on the world. Both worlds. <sighs> Sweetie Belle says it's your fault that Terramar ra Oh, wait. I already told you that, didn't I? Uh, what's going on? I know the owl. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I have to think about well, Harry Potter. <laughs> he, he kind of left. He wanted to be by himself. <laughs> Which was not my fault. Mine either. Well, of course not. Mm -hmm. Why would you think that? Because, because it was our fault. fault. All we had to do was <laughs> help him choose which world to live in. And we let him down. Whoever said that he had to choose? Well, he did. Yeah, that's yeah. right! Maybe that's what I can say from the start. It has to be. Yeah! Princess! <laughs> we're having a seashell crafting circle. Care to join us? Actually, we're <laughs> I've got the, the seashells again. <laughs> For a moment, I thought she, she would say, begin. we're having a seizure. <laughs> really, I've had a great time in both places today, but... Wow, this must be how Terramar feels all the time. Oh, hello, Skyveek. Ocean flow. <laughs> You're looking well. Hey, hey, look, they're getting along just fine. Why does he have to choose? God damn it. Hmm, this gives me an idea. Ah. They're making problems where there are none. Man. For sure he came this way. <gasps> he did. And I'm staying here too. That way I don't have to be on <laughs> land or in the water. We're sorry. Yeah, she's we <laughs> he's just sitting on a tree forever. We just ended up confusing you more. It's all our fault. Oh great. 
You're sorry, and I'm still confused. I'm staying in my tree. Mm. We might have something worth coming down for. We thought we'd get every creature together for a picnic on the beach. And we mean every creature. <laughs> Shell bungalows. And they just change whenever they fucking want. Man. Son, there you are. Your friends told us how you've been feeling. And we're sorry if we ever made you think you had to choose between worlds. That wasn't our intention, honey. Your Hippogriff heritage is something to be proud of, certainly. But you're more than just where you're from or who you live with. We love you because you're you, no matter where you choose to be. You don't have to decide. You can keep doing what you've been doing, going back and forth. And enjoying both yes. places. Uh, we are creating a new, a new species, a, a, a sea griff. Whatever. <laughs> Something we forgot to add that both places have: family and friends who love you. Aww. Thanks for everything. Hey, uh, are you glowing? Yay! Okay. Mission accomplished! Congratulations! Your first map mission is a success! Guess that means we're officially done here! I hope you come visit your sister in Equestria! Yeah! Come see us! You'll love it! Who knows? You might even want to live there! Yeah, that was a joke. <laughs> and just walking the line. Yep. Nice. Very nice. I'll say... I'll, I'll admit, um, it doesn't happen too often um, that I really like a CMC episode, but... Uh, because most of them are kind of eh. But this was one of the, of the ones that I actually enjoyed a lot. Even though the... The problem wasn't really a problem to begin with, but um, the whole story was pre was was pretty nice, and I'm, I'm pretty sure um, many many people feel like they're torn be between two places, or um, or in torn be between two things in general, even though they don't have to, um, and they can just do both or switch between two. Man if it's possible he has the he has the possibility to to just switch and it doesn't really it really isn't a problem i thought maybe in the beginning uh, bec uh, because maybe be maybe the sea ponies and uh, and uh, the hippogriff they don't like each other maybe that that could have been the problem but no they get along just fine so n no real problem here also what i um what i just uh, what i um what I thought, his name is uh, Terramar, right? Is this like like a wordplay on 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 Terra land and Mar, um, like like the the Latin word I think Mar, is ocean, um, Terramar land sea. I, c I could be wrong here, but I, I don't know how how his name is written, but uh, just from the sound is Terra, Mar. His name describes the duality of his personality, because his mother, um, she's called Ocean whatever, and his uh, his dad is his name is something Sky Big or whatever. So it, it the it, it's a clever name. <laughs> it's a clever name, <laughs> if that's what it is. I'm not sure, but I think it is. Um, <laughs> also, the thing. Was was pretty nice that they had, um, yeah, Sweetie Belle and and Scootaloo. Um, they are pretty opposite um, in in character, just like you know Rainbow Dash and Rarity. Um, so it would make sense that they have different opinions and um, 
just like Applejack being the grounded one, Scootaloo is the grounded one in the group, <laughs> so she has to, um, <laughs> she has to, like, uh, communicate between between the two. That, that that was that was fun, even even though I thought that, of course, they were they were taking it a little bit too far, arguing that much over something that stupid that they don't even want to talk about, uh, to each other anymore. Um, <laughs> like and that one, yeah, it reminded me of the of this one scene in Harry Potter, where J Hermione was just um, communicating between uh, Harry and Ron and said, "I'm not an owl." Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and Twilight did have a lot of fun too. Um, she won a trophy <laughs> for science, of course. <laughs> um, and that one thing where Scootaloo like swimming was the closest thing to uh, to actually flying she would ever get. It's um, it's nice, but also kind of sad to be honest <laughs> if you think about it. Uh, if she will, will she ever learn to fly? I don't know. But if, of course, it would make sense for her to like swimming so much, and for uh, Sweetie Belle, who likes singing, singing and music so much, that the harmonizing height would more would be more her thing. So I think this was a pre very, very nice episode and a very good CMC episode. So. Three very good episodes in a row. I'm actually surprised they, they, they're having a roll. So, I'm happy this was the last episode for the day. Um, very, very nice reaction this time. So, that's that's been... That, that, that's, that, that's all. We are finished. We have watched three episodes and all of them were very nice. So, I'm fucking happy. Um, so, yeah. That's it for today. I hope I will see you with the next episode and I hope I will actually get to it when it comes out on time this this Saturday. Um, and then anyway, I will see you then. Have a nice day and goodbye. Between two Without